Welcome to Club Academia, where curiosity meets knowledge. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of photons, the light particles that play a crucial role in our universe. We'll explore how a photon is created, what happens to it after creation, and whether or not it ever dies. Let's start with a common experience, turning on a light switch. When you do this, electrical energy flows into the light bulb. But what happens next? How does this energy transform into light, or more specifically, photons? In a typical incandescent light bulb, the electrical energy heats a metal filament, usually tungsten. As the filament gets hotter, it excites the electrons within the atoms of the tungsten. When these electrons gain energy, they move to higher energy levels or excited states. However, this state is unstable. Eventually, the electrons want to return to their original lower energy levels. As they do so, they release energy in the form of photons. This release of energy is what we perceive as light. Each photon carries a specific amount of energy determined by the wavelength of the light. Now that we know how photons are created, let's discuss their nature. Photons are fascinating particles. They are massless and travel at the speed of light, about 299,792 kilometers per second in a vacuum. This speed means that photons can cover vast distances incredibly quickly. For example, light from the sun takes about eight minutes to reach Earth. But what happens to photons once they are created? After being emitted from the light bulb, photons travel through the air and can interact with different surfaces. Some photons might reflect off surfaces, while others could refract when passing through materials like glass. When they strike an object, they may be absorbed, which can lead to heating that object or causing other effects of energy absorption. Do photons ever die? Now here's a fascinating question. Do photons ever die? The answer is a bit complex. While photons don't have a lifespan like living organisms, they can interact with matter in ways that lead to their disappearance. When a photon is absorbed by an atom, it transfers its energy to that atom, often exciting an electron to a higher energy level. In this process, the photon effectively ceases to exist as a free particle. But here's the twist. After the atom is excited, it may eventually return to its ground state, releasing a new photon. This means that while the original photon has died in a sense, its energy can still contribute to the creation of new photons. Photons can also travel for billions of years across the universe without interacting with anything. For example, some photons we observe from distant stars were created millions or even billions of years ago. These photons carry information about the universe's history and the processes occurring in stars. They may eventually reach Earth, where they can be absorbed by our eyes, allowing us to see the cosmos. In conclusion, photons are extraordinary particles created through energy transformations, such as when you turn on a light switch. While they can die when absorbed by matter, their energy can continue to influence the universe through new photons. The journey of a photon is a testament to the interconnectedness of energy, light, and matter. Now let's look at different types of light, including infrared, ultraviolet, and visible light. Visible light is the part of the spectrum that our eyes can detect, ranging from approximately 400 to 700 nanometers. This is what we see as colors, from red to violet. Infrared light has longer wavelengths than visible light, typically greater than 700 nanometers. While we can't see infrared light, we can feel it as heat. For example, when you feel warmth from the sun, that's infrared radiation. Ultraviolet light has shorter wavelengths, less than 400 nanometers. While too much UV light can be harmful to our skin, it also plays a role in processes like photosynthesis. All electromagnetic radiation emits photons, as photons are the fundamental particles that make up all forms of electromagnetic radiation, including radio waves, visible light, infrared, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays. The only difference between these types of radiation is the energy level of their photons. A photon is the smallest unit of electromagnetic energy, acting as a particle of light. Scientists' discovery that photons are both waves and particles was a key part of the development of quantum mechanics. Isaac Newton thought light traveled in particles in part because of how light bounces off surfaces. But Christian Huygens pointed out that light shined through a small hole spread out instead of remaining a spot. This meant that light must be a wave, with light spreading out in a way similar to how water ripples. 
Huygens' wave model gained additional support from experiments in the 1800s. In 1900s, Max Planck suggested instead that photons must be particles because of the way radiation behaves. This opened the door for Einstein to suggest in 1905 that light is both particles and waves. His explanation is based on the photoelectric effect. This is the way a sheet of metal emits electrons when hit with light. Einstein demonstrated that the intensity of the light shined on the metal is tied to the number of photons in the light. The frequency or color of the light is tied to the amount of energy each photon carries. Albert Einstein won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922 for his work on photons and electromagnetic radiation. Key takeaways. 1. Photons are created when energy is released. 2. They travel at the speed of light. 3. Absorption leads to the death of a photon but can create new ones. If you enjoyed this enlightening exploration of photons and their role in our universe, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more exciting science content from Club Academia. Keep questioning and exploring the wonders of the universe. Until next time, take care.